Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've got a simple Bootstrap 4 website here. It's a sort of little resume website, a real simple one that we built in one of the courses that I do. And if you want to take that course, there's a link below this video. But I had a question on one of my other YouTube videos, simple questions, can be a very quick video of how to change the link colors, not just up in the nav bar, but all the link colors, this one and any, uh, any other links that may appear on the site. Well, it's very easy and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So let's get my little folder up. This is our website folder that we built, or the root folder where we built our site, all our files in there. We're looking at the index.html at the moment, this home page. Inside the CSS folder, in most cases, or it may be just in your root folder, you're going to find a cascading style sheet. It may be called custom, it may be called whatever. Ours is called scrolling nav because we used a little skeleton framework to build our site on. So there's our CSS file. I'm going to right click. I'm going to open it with brackets text editor. Any text editor will do. If you don't have one, brackets is absolutely awesome. It's free and you can download it from a link below also. Inside here, you're going to find all the CSS we wrote for this site, which is not very much for a website. That is very little CSS for a website, but it's just a little one, one page scroller. So it doesn't matter where you put it, I'd probably put it below the actual text there, but it really doesn't matter for this case, I'll just put it at the top so you can see it. And I'm sure you all know a link, HTML wise, is called an anchor tag or an A. It's set with an A. If I show you, let's go to our site here, move that out of the way. Let's go to a link. Well, we'll just use one of these nav links right here. I right click and inspect. I'm using Google Chrome because it has these fantastic inspector tools. There's the actual link and you can see it's A is the class for a link, or the name of the link. So all we, all we need to do is put A to target A and every time there's an A on the page it'll do it for all anything that is called an anchor right there. So this is why we write A. So let's go back to our brackets. So we simply write A, open and close some curly brackets, drop down line, bit of space, then color, colon, whatever color we want. I'm just gonna put in red. But if I leave it like that, you'd think that would work. I'll just put a little semicolon in case we wanna add some more code. I'm gonna save that, Control S, go back to the site. When I refresh, it's not gonna work. There we go, nothing's changed. Now the reason nothing's changed when you do that is there's A, our anchor tags, have already got a style applied to them by default with Bootstrap. So to override the style, we have to use important, which is exclamation mark important. Now you don't really want to use this unless you have to, but this is one of those cases I believe where we have to, to override the styles. Now if I save it, control S, and we go back to the site. Shunk, there we see all our links have turned red. Our font awesomes are all red. They, they are links as well to the Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn button. That's another anchor. Anything else down here, another one. And again, all of our links with our font awesomes down here have turned red as well. Very simple, very easy to do. So there you have it. I hope that's helped you out. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't particularly like them being red, but that's how easy it is to do with Bootstrap 4. So I'm gonna delete that and just save it as it was. Control S, back to the site, refresh. There we are, back to how we were. So that's how easy it is to change your link colors or all the link colors on the site. If you find it doesn't work with some, it's because they're probably in a div with a class of their own. So you need to target the class and then the A. So if this was navbar A, you'd write navbar A to do those. But this was a general question about how to change them all. So I hope I've covered that for you. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. It really does let me know whether or not you're interested in the topic or not. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.